I've my, already... my chair was like a toilet. <laughs> Can I tell you one observation that was interesting? Robin might kill me for this. I got thrown out of the room for, for I don't know why. Mom, oh, you for, do. Tell me. Something <laughs> happened. There was I'll a big tell you secret. exactly why you got <laughs> thrown out of the room. Yeah, there was a big secret reveal. I'll Mom tell you exactly. Tell me what it was. You know what it is? You're thick. And I'm going to tell you why you got thrown out of the room, okay? It was a ladies' shower. Why Thank the you. fuck went... do you show up at this thing? <laughs> I showed up to again to, because you're a baby. No, everything. The no, baby's no. a ticket I to do whatever up. you want, right? Because no. you have a fucking baby. No, you're the only no, one no. in the world with a fucking baby. At the, the end, end of the party, and it turned out when no. I showed up, I was you told showed up an to... hour into the party. No. Uh, you're lying. It wasn't an hour. It was. I was told to come at the end of the party, and I showed up. Marlo said come at two thirty, and that was Marlo decided you should be at the party. Well, well, Robin, and you didn't show up at two thirty. You're lying. Are you retarded? No, no one I'm not retarded. I'm not retarded. I time. He must have been outside the door because as soon as she called, he was there. Yeah, he was <laughs> there. Dude, it's six blocks away. Stop. It's a lady the show. You're the one answer. I was told the party's over to come no. by now. because so The party was over at 3 o'clock. So o'clock. I could pick up Marlo and leave. And these girls were discussing girl shit, and all of a sudden... When they start talking, I, they see you staring at them no, with those they, bug eyes, and they go, uh-oh, I can't talk. <laughs> they didn't, she didn't say Am I right or am I wrong, Robin? Beth you're didn't right, say Beth didn't right. back. You're you don't know why they threw you out of the room. No, Robin you can't had to figure it out. She had one big, they were talking she's giving through. girl talk. Yeah, I And they wanted. It well, who gives a shit? I don't know. It seemed like it was a big deal. Look, we don't, so I don't ask pop. you what goes on yeah. in scores, do I? I don't right. invade scores. Girls take off their clothes and dance and we drink. I don't and eat care. Dinner. I don't That's go it? in. So you want your wife showing up with know. the baby at scores? What? <laughs> These what girls were having a girl scene. They didn't I want a man. No, I didn't go to the city. You don't know why they threw you out. I you don't know said, why. You're from the other team. Get out of here. <laughs> no, you said. You don't I don't know good. why they threw me out. I, I'll tell you why. I didn't not expect to sit down and, and, and be welcome there. I thought it you was were over. Welcome. I thought it was over. But Robin's most cordial. She's a very cordial host. You get the but camera. You take any pictures? I took two good, pictures. Good. All right, good. <laughs> With the pictures. One time, I'm sitting on the beach in Florida. Bub is wedding. This fucker is bringing on the camera. I think he's, he's shooting part pictures. Japanese. Right, I go, let me see this video. I go, where? Where'd you grow <laughs> up? Tokyo. <laughs> Howard, you motherfucker. The difference there is I took two pictures at this party. In Bubba's wedding, we was I was shooting. Single-handedly shooting a show no, on a the special. beach, you were shooting. Yeah, me. and you on? Did you watch the special? Did you see those photos? And he's like paparazzi's hiding out in the bushes. <laughs> I remember at, at my party, he was totally annoying. Remember Which on the party? boat, he jumped on the boat with yeah. his camera. Did camera. that stuff make a show? <laughs> Don't forget what we do and, and the right, things we're right. discussing. There needs to be a visual you. component, which is my job, so I do a I good job. Thank you, you, Robin. I told Thank you. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> I love you. I wouldn't want anyone else as an executive producer. <laughs> Thank you. I only brought this up for the sake of the show. And in other words, you for a great bit. Yeah, for a great bit. Otherwise, I would have yes. kept it quiet. Honestly, but I would But now we okay. all know where the line is. Yeah. Everyone clear? Stay yeah. out. Stay <laughs> off my chair. Or, or just ask my permission. Just say, hey, Howard, do you can, mind if I take Did we ask, can Robin sit in your chair? No, I don't want to sit in his chair. I, know, I would can. ask permission. That's okay. right. Okay. I now know that. It's a rule for everyone. I thought it was just a chair. By the way, I have a question for Doug. You're not planning to have any more kids, are you? Yes, and I, I will put them in yours. Better lock the chair up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put the velvet ropes. Lock the chair up. Because you know there's going to be more pictures. Yeah, when's the next photo shoot in the chair? Um, well, what is he going to do now? The other kids won't have a picture in the chair. <laughs> Howard, I have to get my other Photoshop kids. it in. Howard, it's what I, I'm going to do. Here's right. what you ought to do. Fred's right. Take a picture of my chair. That I don't mind. And we'll Photoshop, right. Photoshop your chair. Right. No one will be the wiser. All right, Artie, are we done? Hi, it's Audrey Goodstein. I'm in your chair. And Hi, Audrey. It's Audrey. I'm just right. shit in your chair. You know, this is a whole fucking hour. Get out of here. Okay. Right, thank you. I just took okay, a steaming huh? shit in your and chair. And Audrey's very cute. Very cute. I met Audrey yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. My father's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> now, give this chair to Audrey. Take it home, and I'll, I'll get a new one. I don't want that All right, chair. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bro. Get out of here. Benji's chair smells like shit. Yeah, notice he didn't, he didn't put his kid in Benji. No. Chair. Uh, My chair is clean, evidently. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Again, this happens to a lot of people. You hear from the people who are most vocal, not the ones who are going on with their lives. Well, in any case, it's the lowest crime you can commit. It is a low crime. And, you know, what was what was my point? Your point is I what we were talking about. that Sandusky oh, was yeah. that, that, that anybody would like kind of like kind of keep it a secret, even if they had suspicions. 
What do you think is we- worse, though, in terms of your psyche? Like being, you know, child raped or finding out you're a 34 on the <laughs> ugly meter? What would you say is worse? You're right. You could probably recover from being yeah, raped. Nobody sees you get raped yeah. every day. I got to walk, I look in the mirror at a 34 <laughs> every day. What do you think I think? I mean, that's like being the elephant man. Oh, stop. The only one who's got it worse is Ronnie. Yeah, and what's it, poor Ronnie going to do? Ronnie was a zero. <laughs> that is, that is, like, he wasn't even a one. The, up to that point, zero Jay point Leno was the zero. lowest score they ever got. I like the guy goes, gee, I don't believe I've ever seen anyone rate this low. <laughs> zero. It's never happened before. Well, I've never point. seen this. Ronnie zero. got a zero. <laughs> <laughs> At least I managed 34. What were you again, Fred? I think 40, 41. 41. <laughs> like it matters. Doug Goodstein was lower than me. Was he? Hey, Doug, what was yours? Uh, I was a 26. <laughs> well, accurate. Those are bug eyes of yours. That's what did you in. <laughs> it must be. Yeah. If they say so with that app, it must be. Yeah. Wow, you're a 26, huh? I was surprised. Yeah. No, you're not that bad looking. No, thank you. Neither were you. Come on. Oh, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> a 34 and a 26 two, consoling each other. Two horrendous looking people telling each other they don't look that bad. <laughs> yeah, that sucks for me. 34. At first, I was the first to go, so I thought, well, mm, that's pretty good. Like, I'm not an 11 like Jay Leno. The machine had to warm up. Yeah. Hey, starting tonight, uh, that interview with Yanni that I was talking about, and I should mention this, and also the latest meltdown from Penny Crone is all happening on the uh, Howard TV and that incredible orgasmic performance from Ginger G-Spot on the Sibian yesterday. It's being edited as we speak, complete with John the Stutterer's meltdown, which I think is going to be the show of the uh, of, That's a of lot of, of show. Yeah, it's going to be on Howard TV tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Let's see. Wait a second. I think it's tonight, actually. Well, I don't know. It's, it's impossible to tell if this is an old plug. Well, I gotta start, a lot of stuff that just happened. i got to start busting balls around here because people just leave shit on my console. And you don't, yeah, I don't know whether it came to you today or is that yeah. yesterday. Because it says Tuesday, 816. So it says it'll be on Howard TV tomorrow night. So that would be yesterday. Right. Guys, mm-hmm. i got to have a meeting today and just fucking yell at everyone. Everything around here is a little confusing for me to follow. Um, yeah, yeah, Ganji, let me hear. Let me hear. What, what is it? What is it? Why does everything have to turn into a 30-minute... I'm bit? sorry. I was trying to set up the shoot for the better, better well, app. T- yeah, yeah, I know. You're always busy. Yeah, sorry. What, what's the problem? Uh, well, you're saying Ginger when you wanted to know. It's, it's on tonight at midnight. Tonight. So yeah, how, come I, a- how come there's a promo sitting here that says it'll be on Howard TV tomorrow night? That because I- this is an old promo. Probably, yeah. yeah. Well, fucking get it right. I, I'm sorry, I don't. I don't give you those. Who promos. does it then? Uh, Name the person. D- Doug gives right, you those well, promos. All right, tell fucking Doug to get it right. Tell right, him to come right. in. It's part of his job to get it right. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. I'll make sure it happens. Yeah. All right. I'm so tired of it. I really feel disrespected sometimes. Where is Doug? Bring him in here. I want to talk to him. He's at lunch. It's like I get, it's like it's like deciphering hier- hieroglyphics. Around here, Doug's not here this morning. Where is he? He's. Uh, I think he had to do something down at the office this morning. So. Oh. What does he have to do down at the office? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know his personal business. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, as long as you're blaming him for incompetence, you uh, might I, as well be here so he can hear it. I, I was trying to set up another shoot. Mm. I missed most of this conversation. Ever since he I had that eye what... surgery, he looks at me bug-eyed. That Doug Goodstein. His eyes like like this. Like a fucking he looks like the man with the x-ray eyes. He looks yeah. right, right through you. It's like, uh, can I talk to you a minute? <laughs> <laughs> He's diagnosing your illnesses. <laughs> can I talk to you a minute? <laughs> you know, I, ever since they gave him, the, he was better with glasses. Howard, you have a tumor in each. <laughs> yeah, well, how do you know that, Doug? Because I can see through your clothing. <laughs> yeah. It, it's just like everyone kind of is like, ah, you know, yeah, I forgot. It's no big deal. Howard will make a joke or a bit out of it. That's what happened with my mom yesterday. You know? Oh, it's no big deal if Howard's mom is... That was horrible. You know, it's no big deal. Because you know what? Howard always makes a bit out of it. You know? Tell Doug to concentrate on his job. Is he is he at work today or is he moving? I, I, I swear to God, I don't know. Yeah, you said he's at work. I think I, I was told that he just said he couldn't I come in here this morning. I just got a note that says morning. he's moving. 
You know, I was wondering about that because I know they got a new house. I said, I wonder if they'd moved in yet. Nobody moves on weekends? No one can move on Friday? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, why don't you call Doug and tell him I'm upset? I, well, as soon as yeah. I get out of here, I will. All right, good. All right. Yeah. Call him right now. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's really aggravating. I think he's on the phone, Howard. Hey, Doug, honestly, what would you do if you were me? Like, why, do you, why can't the promos be updated so that they're current? Uh, are you kidding me? I gave that to you two days ago. I think well, someone's got to clear it off. Well, that's not my. I don't touch. I don't know what the system is after. You're in charge of the. Assume. You're on the charge of the Howard TV promo. If okay, you're putting so a new I, one down, make sure the old one's off. Yeah, but you were supposed to read that two days ago. And All I, right, but don't leave it laying on the console if I don't read it. I mean, I understand. I got. You. Yeah, it's, it, I, it's I, amazing I, how I things get turned phone around. Phone. Huh? It's amazing how it's my fault. I didn't say it was. Really I guess I should worry about everything. Stop it. I guess nobody else has a job around here to do. Just how? Yeah, we, have, we don't have a job. Yeah, right. All right. Where are you today? I'm uh, finishing packing my apartment, then I'm running to the office. You're packing your apartment? Yes. Well, maybe if you were here, you'd be able to remove the promo. <laughs> you have a good point there, too. Yeah. Why are you packing your apartment today? Why wouldn't I'm you... moving tomorrow. Huh? Well, why, why don't you do that uh, on, on your own time? Thank you. <laughs> such a dick. How are your eyes? They're, they're bug eyes, just like yeah. yours. She'll be able to see right through uh, Robin's clothes. What do her breasts look like naked? They, she has very big nipples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see right through her. Yeah, I can tell. Hey, right, Robin? You obviously can see. All right. Hey? Do, me a do me a favor. I know everything's funny. Just just no. t take the promos and change them every day and get rid of the old ones. Okay. Okay. I got you. Good job. I'm sorry. Thank you. I need your help here, pal. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for help. I understand the, the video of your new boat is on there as well. You can check out Robin as she takes her boat out for its maiden voyage. And how does Robin handle her boat? Well, you'll see. Find out on Howard TV. You heard of the skipper from Gilligan's Island? Well, he laughs at Robin when she <laughs> crashes into Look, the... I'm here every day. The skipper never got off Gilligan's Island. That's true, too. Yeah, the skipper couldn't negotiate a three-hour tour. That's right. It was Doug right that he that your nipples are quite large. He can see. Yeah. I didn't. I thought we were joking. Well, you shut you right up. <laughs> I'm never saying anything again. He'll tell you other things about my body. Right. His application of the double <laughs> opinion standard to his lawsuit hey, by against the, way, the state of Vermont. What did you make of Miss Howard Stern today? I mean, she was subdued, quiet. You couldn't get an answer out of her. What was going on there? She was sober. I guess. Yeah. She and she was smarter than I thought too. Yeah. What a disappointment. But it was yeah. hard to even get a word out of her. Oh, he's working hard. Do you think she's ready to give up her title, Miss Howard Stern? I don't think so, but she must be thinking about it. Right. You know, I mean, there was that little phone message where she said she didn't need us anymore. She's conflicted, I think. Right. All right. Well, maybe, uh, I don't know what was going on there. I sure would like to know. Uh, what else? Plus, who was the strongest member of each team? And was Bigfoot right in thinking Artie was picking on him and claiming that the questions were unfair? Plus yeah, this... that you were asking him questions. Was <laughs> uh, what else? Plus, this morning began with Howard pointing out Robin's healthy cold, Robin pointing out that Jason needs a weight intervention, Wolf and Sal attacking Gary's breath, and Doug Goodstein being revealed as a looter on 9-11 while Fred plays his version of hero. We'll debate who got it the worst this morning, who took it the hardest, and we'll see if any ill will is festering after all that friendly conversation. Doug Goodstein took it the hardest. Yeah, he was upset. He was, he like, was, he was, he was like, like staring at me after that conversation, looking at me. <laughs> what? Uh, I missed the... Yeah, I missed the... <laughs> he, was like, he, was like, he was like the... <laughs> I mean, Doug, we're kidding around with you. I Nobody missed... thinks you're a looter because you took a camera on 9-11. Right. Missed... He's like... <laughs> you... You you were not joking. <laughs> I missed the, Did he come in here during the commercial and, yeah, he, and ask who uh, who wrote that joke, looter? Which fat, yeah, he goes, he goes, which fat tubby who, loser wrote that? Who told you I was a looter? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? I said, get out of here. You know what's Nobody great about... Nobody believes you're a looter, you maniac. <laughs> goes, the, the audience does. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's great about like, that? Are you, what are you crazy? That impression is it's your comment on laser surgery. <laughs> yeah. 
That's why I won't get laser surgery. I see this guy. He got the laser surgery. He walks in like this. <laughs> I think you get x-ray vision after you get laser surgery. I don't know what the fuck he's looking at. No one thinks you're a lunar. <laughs> I go, Doug, are you the charge of Howie TV? You're scaring me. What are you doing? I'm a lunar. He's alone. He's alone. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Dude, if you want to talk about crazy, well, let's not go there. Your eyes do more crazy shit than my eyes do. Okay. What can so I why do you go there? My eyes are. What's wrong with my eyes? My eyes are fine. I have nice blue eyes. I don't. You look good. You I look don't want to go. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, you don't just do kidding. That. You don't do that at all. No, you were hanging around here like a. Uh, I'm not a well, Howard, I'm you not paint a, a picture that people take Dude, your word not, as like but, fact, and it's just. You did it's take silly. a camera at 9 11, but you explained it was because you needed to take pictures because no document. one else was taking pictures. Yes, and you just harp on the, the you know the one teeny negative out of the. And you know, there's so much positive. Uh, I'm just asking. I understand the show. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Just, I told you. What? You had to take pictures. Your <laughs> pictures are so fucking important. There's 9 million people taking pictures of 9 11. Time magazine was there. But I was there. I needed to take pictures. I said, but you with those pictures. The point is, you have to be retarded to think that we really think you're a looter. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, come on. Get a grip on reality. You're supposed to be the guy in charge. Okay. You're supposed to know what's funny here. I know what's funny here. And I was very clear. I said, there's very little that gets me. That's a sensitive thing. I'm not telling you not to talk about it. Do, Do you still you have want. the camera? <laughs> there was a disposable. You threw it out. Why don't yeah. you save it? It's a 9-11 relic. <laughs> no. He ran down there and he took a camera. You don't want to be called a looter. <coughs> he burst into the they place with uh, a shopping cart. No, but I was with the police. That's the, <laughs> that's the, the definition of a looter. <laughs> uh, just busting your balls. We know you did a good thing. Just fucking okay. calm down. All right? Even though you broke the law, it was for a good reason. Right. Go produce oh something. Oh, my God. <laughs> You broke the law. <laughs> you went down there for a good reason, and then you ended up doing something bad. <laughs> no, I good did people do good. something bad. Do you think it's good to steal a camera from a poor shop owner's ha uh, store? No. All right. But so was, I, was, was I clear that I physically didn't take the camera and put it in? It was. In, there were shopping carts full of food. I told, 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 this is boring. We you just took, we emptied things. stores with supplies and food and you medical stuff and medicine and, and that's right. Medicine. Where did you get medicine? Off the sh there was like uh, Tylenol and painkillers and yeah. band aids and all that stuff. Oh you know? God, you, you know, I would love to loot a drugstore. Next time you do that, <laughs> let me know. Yeah, next time it's nine eleven. Artie will help Artie you will out. Be there. That's the greatest scene in that movie, No Country for Old Men, <laughs> when he blows up the car yeah. so everybody in the pharmacy will run out. <laughs> he just goes up there. Anyway, I love you. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm not worried. About it. <laughs> right, you can leave now. I'm over. Right, Thank uh, you. Bye. Any, any anything else on the wrap up show today? Yeah. John? We'll talk to the looter. Plus, what's the best way <laughs> to yell? At, what's the best way to yell Baba Booey on the street? Right. Howard is proud of his rosing interview. Artie gets pissed at Lisa G for asking his new assistant if she's Artie's type. Right. Gary gets yelled at by a little person. Beth wouldn't mind Howard rewarding Jillian Barbary for all her love and everything else that happened on today's show we right. covered on the wrap-up show. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I don't know who does a PDT for the show, but I'm looking at it and it just says Doug is a looter. <laughs> 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 okay. Ah, there's Steve the intern. Okay, Steve, what do you have for us tonight at 7 o'clock on Sirius XM. Well, some of us are. Shuli hey is here. Benji hey is hey here. Now. Robin is here. Hey Fred is here. Hey now. Yes. These are the guys you these are the guys you want to go to war with. <laughs> no, uh, there are other guys here. J D okay. Harmeyer is here. Jim yes. McClure is here. Um who else is here? Uh, Steve Brendano is here, who has just been promoted to executive producer. <laughs> Ganji here, oddly enough. He's running the whole show by himself, practically. You know, it's so weird. Uh, so many people around here were offered a hotel room to stay in and do this show, and... For the life of me, I don't understand why they... Uh, Gary was like, well, I have to be with my family. I have well, to protect my house. And how are you protecting your house exactly? I, I, that's why I kept asking that question. How are you going to protect the house? That's a pussy. I could turn on the generator. And I love all the people who write me in the email. You know, you're very mean to Gary. It's like, well, yeah, you're probably going nowhere in life, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're probably a loser, too. I, I just don't have that mentality. Yeah, Gary called me last night, you know, in the middle of the storm, big uh -huh. storm. And he says, uh, what is the mechanism by which you are coming in? What? 
What, what mechanism will help you to determine when you are coming in? I said, what mechanism? What <laughs> mechanism will determine when I'm coming in? Wow. I said, here's the mechanism, Gary. I'm going to get up tomorrow. And, and if the uh, world's still here. If the world's here, I'm going to go over to Sirius and do a radio show. I don't know. Well, that's my mechanism. Well, what, 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 you know, he was asking me again how, what mechanism is he using right, right. to determine. You know, and, and I was just like, I, I don't know how to answer that question. What, well, I'm not your daddy. I mean, what do you want me to do? I told you, take a hotel room in the city and be here. That's what my father taught me. My father made it into work no matter what. Well, you know, you I know? used to work in hospitals. There was no such thing as, you know, you just don't come in. I mean, Doug Goodstein hasn't been here for two days. That is one dude. If I'm ever in a war, that's the Don't one dude. Yeah, I'd rather be against him. <laughs> <laughs> he has got to be the biggest fucking pussy on two feet. And I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, mean, he, I mean, yesterday there was absolutely no issue with getting in and out of the city. Well, how would he know that, bull? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, there's no guarantees in life, but there was nothing happening. But the offices were closed. Yeah. But they were told to stay home because the offices were closed. Not our offices. <laughs> in demand. I don't I don't know where in demand offices are. Maybe they're downtown. That's not where he works. No, he works here, and I'm here, and everybody else is here. Uh, you know. I don't know. Every, everyone's so fucked up with the work. It's crazy. Well, you know, these guys are even of the generation I'm talking about. But, you know, they give seminars now to teach people how to talk to the new generation because you just can't say, go do this. No, <laughs> they don't know from that. Well, like Scott, the engineer, hasn't been here in two days. And you know that was going to happen. I mean, you well, just know. Well, I remember 9-11. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I went home with Scott. Yeah. And I looked at Scott at some point in the evening. I said, he'll never get to work tomorrow. <laughs> right. I got to get out of here. Right, he doesn't even consider it. <laughs> and so I spent two hours finding my way through the streets to get home so I could go to work on my own in yeah, the morning. Exactly. Tim Sabian's here, Jim McClure is here. I mean, you know, these guys, they know that someone's got to put the show on. Someone had to be here. I had my ISDN line set up last night as well and made contingency plans. And I said, if I can't get in, I'll do it on the ISDN line. I don't know. I, 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 I just don't get it. Well, when I, you know, started to have this problem, I immediately said, get that ISDN line working and make sure it works. There you go. There you go. That's it. Woman has missed a day. That's right. Play the music. <laughs> let, her, let her have her music. <laughs> okay. So in the middle of a storm, I got on a plane. That's how much of a pussy I am. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Guarantee another guy. Guy who ever wrote this letter, if I could find him. <laughs> it's another guy sitting at home, you know, probably out of work or, you know, and, and sitting there going, woe is me. Why can't I find a job? They, they were attacking me on Twitter. How dare I come after Gary? Gary's been here for years. How dare I open my mouth and goof on him? I said, what? Who's what? goofing on him? Uh, no one was even goofing on him. I just said, Gary, I can't make that decision for you. you ha I gave you options. You can stay in the city in a hotel or you can go home. And either way, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be here. What is your mechanism? I go, I don't know my mechanism. I'm just going to be here. I'm going to find a way to do the show. What mechanism will tell you if you're doing the show uh, uh, from the studio? How, uh, who, don't you need to know who's going to be there? I go, no. I, whoever's there, I'll do the show with. I said, I know Fred's going to be there because I can depend on him to be there. He told me so. You know who... Well, there you go again. <laughs> Gary, that's not a put down of you. Fred said he will be there. I can depend on him being there. Why is that about you? Oh, my God. I, I tell you, I'm exhausted from this. Take it back. Doug Goodstein? I don't get this guy. I don't know what his story is, but fine. He wants to stay home. Stay home. Scott, the engineer, wants to stay home. Stay fucking home. I don't care. La -da -da. La -da. We'll get in on that. Uh, oh, oh, let's, I might as well take off Wednesday. They took off Monday and Tuesday. What's the point? Oh, we'll get the whole week. Uh, well, I know Governor Chris Christie wants to stay off the road, so... Uh, I mean, Governor I'll Chris Christie, I, I want to I look like him. <laughs> uh, round. He's going to reschedule Halloween. I mean, it was amazing. I can't even believe the show's up and running without Scott being here. <laughs> Two days and the show sounds as good as it ever sounded. Go figure. How do we do it? Uh, even Jason, I mean, he he had a run home yesterday. I'm like, Jason, what are you running home to? you got an apartment. 
said, D- stay in a hotel. No, no, no. I, I got to get home. Okay. Okay. I didn't bust anybody. I have, homes I have like, internet <laughs> porn. Yeah. I don't want to hear from some lawyer telling me that I killed Jason by making him stay at work. I don't want to hear it. Everybody makes their own decision. I. It just sets everybody off when I decide to come to work. And then I become um, an asshole and I'm a jerk because I'm coming into work. I don't know. Maybe the three-day-a-week schedule is killing everybody. But I remember, you know.